This one of these records you hear, this one of them records you hear make you just want to go call your bitch, man. Just call your bitch, tell her you miss her, you sorry. Finally, Queso has come back with another reaction. Oh, this is the man. Let me put that down. And today, 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 we're reacting to, reacting to Dear My Friend by August D. I think this is off the D2 project. I'm real excited to hear this. I really like the other record that Queso just can't pronounce. And we're going to see how this one's hitting. You know it's my boy, Sugar, so he's hitting. All hits, no misses. I can officially say I am the realest nigga with 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Show me some love. So without any further ado, before I break it down, break it down. Hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Hey, how are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Because if you don't subscribe, your granny is a dirty, stinking lip. We popping off. When, when you got an artist, this is featuring that boy Nell. When you got an artist that is a producer too, my first thoughts always, did he produce a record? I said that on the last reaction I did to August D off this project. And somebody came in and told me, no, nah, it wasn't him producing it. But I'm always going to ask that question. Did you produce this record? I want to hear some records by, and drop in the comments if you know some. By Sugar, produced by Sugar. I want to see how he rides his own beats. I like that piano. Okay. Hold on, sugar. Did you hear how you hit that last note? How you really hit that note and wrote it? Suge is definitely, I mean, on his journey through BTS has clearly been taking some kind of vocal lessons and really takes his artistry, his voice as ser very seriously. I like this from Sugar. This is that, that's the, you know, Sugar got so many different pockets and bags he can hop in. He could give you just a vibe, like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be in there. Mm, mm, so. Or he could get into these deep, deep, introspective records where he's talking about himself, talking about how he feels about the world, talking about how he feels about his success. And I feel like that's a prevalent topic in this project is how he is, re, re, and in all of BTS, really, how they are living with their 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 success. Why does this remind me of BLB a little bit? Mm. Mm. Did you check? Did you see the double time in that flow? Did it like you're 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 continuously keeping this pace? It's, you know that's the flow, but then at times you you know what I'm saying? that. It just gives it some more layers, some more depth, and that is dope writing. That is, give me the story, but take me left, take me right, take me up, take me down. Let me feel it, you know what I'm saying? This one of these records you hear, this one of them records you hear make you just want to go call your bitch, man. Just call your bitch, tell her you miss her, you sorry. I like how Sugar getting in on this one. I like what Sugar gets in, in this pocket. Dear my friends, you know what I'm saying? He's really getting into it. He's really getting, giving me that, that feeling of like, and there's no subtitles or nothing like this. So this is just really how this music impacts me and how I feel. I can't go off a of lyric, so I might be wrong, but he's giving me that feeling of miss, of regret of memories, nostalgia, of happy times. That's what this music does to me. And some of the dopest part of listening to BTS is a person who can't understand what they're saying without reading, you know what I'm saying? It's just letting it take me. And music is a universal language. So letting this music speak to me in the way it does is some of the funnest times I have with BTS, no cap. Yeah. 
the hook hot too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this nigga getting in his ballot bag. What are you talking about? Mm. You know how he really killed it? Listen to that. that just stops himself and. Like, you hear the sigh, you hear the pain in that nigga voice, peep it, peep it. You got lighter? Speed it up. Double time. <laughs> Come on, man. My nigga snapping. Or was that? Is this now on the hook? Or, oh, it's somebody of now. I don't know who that is. I don't read those characters, but you know. It's not. <laughs> mm. Okay. Who made this? Who made this beat? Now this shit pressure. I definitely feel like I'm playing Sonic. With the drum roll? Come on now. Does this give anybody else, like, church vibes? Like, when you're white churches, you in those white churches and they're doing those, like, those, like, big ballads, but there's not really, like, a church choir or orchestra. It's just one person performing this, and it's, like, everybody's just sitting there taking it in, and it's, like, real spiritual moment. This just, I don't know why, it just gives me these church vibes. Oh, the production nutty. That oh hit no though. Live instrumentation, it does something to me. I love live instrumentation on a record. Okay, Sugar got himself a little project on his hands, man. Sugar got himself a little project on his hands. That one was a bop of vibe. There was moments in there when I just felt like it wasn't even appropriate for me to say too much. Let me just experience this music with y'all. That shit was some work. <laughs> 